time on my way to Venice from Verona. Traveling with train is easier in Europe because you can experience the sightseeing outskirt Italy all the way. Above it all, you don't feel tired as traveling with car or buses. But before I get to Florence, so right now I'm going to go and find the coffee in Modena and I'm going back to Florence in another two hours time. Stay tuned with me. I'm on the way to Florence, Italy, and I managed to stop over at Modena, Italy. It's just a small town, but it has a big fame in the world. You know, Ferrari and Maserati was born here. It's also famous for producing balsamic vinegar. I'm at Piazza del Duomo that was built in the 12th century, was renamed Piazza Grande during the second half of the 7th century. my mission to search for coffee there's a nice cafe in Modena it served me a latte and a delicious croissant the making of latte is mostly just the same in the whole Europe actually Malihudin Baharudin this is Uncle Mali he is my tour guide in Europe Uncle Mali is a Malaysian chef who have been living in Germany and he's also owner of Wow Malay Food food truck. Uncle Mali started off as a chef at a hotel in London back in 1978.
is the capital of northern Italy's Veneto. It is built on more than 100 small islands in a lagoon of Adriatic Sea. So right now, my mission is to find little cute cafes to drink my coffee. When I reached Venice, I met a bunch of students. They came from a few countries all around the world. Even for a while, I managed to share some knowledge with them. The romantic city of Venice is located in the Veneto region of Italy, one of the northern states. This ancient and historically important city was originally built on hundreds of small islands in the Adriatic Sea. As usual, I'm meeting my Uncle Mali in Venice. He will bring me around Venice. You know, before I came here, Venice was flooded. So this is an experience for me. We have our coffee at the Riverside Cafe here in Venice. I can't interview anybody regarding the cafe or the coffee because I'm the coffee lover. I can review about it anyway. So right now, as you guys already know, I'm in Venice having my first cup of cappuccino in Rio Marine, which um, overlooking the beautiful gondola behind me. Okay, it's like a dream come true, right? Amazing view. So I'm going to try this coffee if this is as good as other cafes in Italy. Mm. Yep. 
It is. It's very milky, very nice. Breathtaking view. can claim such a priceless art and history heritage as Venice. This unique city with its magical, spectacular scenery is not just beautiful. It is a real miracle of creative genius. A city built on mud, sand and the slime of a difficult and hospitable landscape. The biggest attraction in the gorgeous city of Venice is the architecture, which is enhanced by the ancient canals that surround it. Actually, my journey is to search for coffee in cafe. I do drink lots of coffee. But to tell you the truth, coffee tastes the same in Europe, but the beans sometimes produce different aromas. My uncle Mali took taste espresso. Cheers! of size for example which is a white limestone masterpiece that the interrogation rooms of Dowager's palace to the prison I'm pretty sure it is the most beautiful bridge in all of Venice this ornate structure hangs over the Grand Canal with masterful confidence if you're looking for entertainment in Venice you truly are spoiled for choice We're finally here, right, Uncle? Yes. We're in Santa Marco. Or Saint Mark. Or Saint Mark. Okay, which is the main public area for the tourists, for the locals. Which is also known as La Piazza. Pink 
and white marble building has to be seen in the flesh to be fully appreciated. It is called the Gothic Masterpiece Douch Palace. Not only it is a breathtaking example of Italian architecture, it is also the center of Venice Carnival celebrations every year. Just stay with me till the end, you will be feeling like you are in Venice. Then I stop again to enjoy a cup of coffee in Venice in this cafe. Yes, still the same cappuccino I'm having, but the extraordinary thing is there's a sound of piano playing while we were here. Way too much coffee, but if it weren't for the coffee, I have no identifiable personality or whatsoever. This is my quote of the day. There are many places in Venice which characterize the city's illustrious history and association with the arts and architecture. Last but not least, gondola. In Venice, it is a must to ride a gondola. Seriously, the gondolas plying the busy Grand Canal and smaller waterways of Venice are one of the most iconic images in the whole wide world. And they are the symbol of history, tradition, and romance in the city of the lagoon. And the gondola ride in Venice ranks among one of the most dreamed about experience for travelers. So I've had my caffeine fix. I'm even in a gondola now. So I'm going to wrap it up in Venezia. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Ciao!